Close enough horseshoes. Come on, sit on down. Get as much water in you as you can. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Corn Corner Segment Edition. <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> Holidays, a time <laughs> of joy, revelry. In Louisiana, there's one known as Mardi Gras. Yeah. <laughs> I used to call it Matter Gars. Matter Gars? Yes. It's Mar it's spelled Mardi Gras. Yeah, I used to like say Matter Gras. You just mixed it all up. Yeah, I was yeah. dumb. Well, you weren't dumb, you had a speech impediment. At a lisp. Yeah. Um anyway. I have a stutter and I still do. So You sure do. Yeah. I kind of just stuttered when I said that. Yep. So Mardi Gras is a cool holiday in New Orleans carnival season. The moderator of our Discord, Togo. Yeah. A friend from New Orleans also has sent me some New Orleans treats that we're gonna have. I want to, while you're grabbing this, I I bet you wouldn't expect this, but I can relate Mardi Gras to Pennsylvania. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Go ahead and tell us how. I'm just gonna wait a second. <laughs> I'm gonna... There's a thing called Foss Knot Day, uh, and it's not just in Pennsylvania, but it's Pennsylvania Dutch is a big thing that I'm sure I've talked about before. But it's it's on Fat Tuesday, and you get donuts. But it's like specifically they're called Foss Knots. Wow. So, and Foss Knot means like fasting night because it's Fat Tuesday, the day before Lent. Did you have the Friday fish thing? Yeah. Okay. I, Me too. Like in New Orleans, it was like you couldn't find meat anywhere. Yeah. On and I grew up like Catholic. Yeah. So I worked the, the Friday fish. Yeah. What's up? Yeah, not anymore. I'll tell you that. Nope. Anyway, so these are Mardi Gras treats that have been sent to us by <gasps> Togo so and Togo's soft. mom. These are the colors of Mardi Gras. This is maybe to be worn around the neck. Yeah, kind of matches your shirt. Check that out. Yeah. This, a little garter. You cannot wear this. No, I, that would not be um, gender affirming or God honoring. <laughs> um, but this is, uh, the, the holiday is, is quite sexual in nature, you know? But it wasn't always. No, but we turned into that. I don't, I was reading some stuff about the history of Mardi Gras and beads and stuff. I didn't read on where it went from throwing beads out to represent jewels and, and celebration to show me your breasts. Yeah. And you get beads. This <laughs> cute, a little um, thing that would be thrown off of a parade float. Oh, really? Like typically? I thought they only threw beads. No, they throw like stuff like they'll throw cups, they'll throw like doubloons. These are them. What do you use those for? <laughs> you can pay the Mardi Gras king. Yeah. Is that it? <laughs> and what do you get? You get more doubloons. It's a weird system. They look like pogs. Yeah, they do. So the crew thing, this sounds like a stupid question, but I don't know that much about this. Did you have like a favorite crew? No, no, okay. no, no, no. Like the parades are, are different in nature. Like Endemian's a, a really, really big one um, that goes like through the quarter and stuff. What's it called? Endemian. Also, beads. We know and we love them. I'm doing <laughs> trans colors. Oh, cute. I love that. Um, Endemian's a really big one. Bacchus is another one that's really big. Um, Bacchus makes sense because it's the god of, of like, partying. Oh, okay. Anyway. That's cool. You've been to Mardi Gras parades. Mm -hmm. I have not. I've never been in New Orleans during Well, in high Mardi school, Gras. we would like the marching band would march in them. When I was really small, we'd go to like tame parades, like West Bank parades, yeah. like kind of family friendly parades. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're a kid, like they'll give you stuffed animals yeah. and like they used to have spears and like these like long, like, like wood, like bamboo. And they put like a little like, like spear head on the end of it. That was like plastic. Yeah. And if you had spears, you would like scream, you'd like spear. Spear and like try to get a spear. The kids want the weapons. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I miss having these plastic cups in the house, honestly, because like these cups just are kind of like 
in every like New Orleans adjacent house. And yeah. and I like now it's like I miss them for like utility items like like something weird is like putting a sponge in under the sink. Yeah. Like shit like that. And like I don't get these like plastic cups or anything. It's like but like when you're on a float you just like throw out the cups like you yeah. know cuz it's like they're so like plentiful. It's uh an interesting thing the the pseudo pollution celebration cuz you're throwing the stuff out. That's all I can think about is the cleanup after oh it's wild yeah i mean it's it's wild but you know arguably i wonder if there's a, a statistic here that says that the city might get cleaner after because it's being cleaned yeah i would say yes. i wonder if it's like before and after mardi gras it's actually cleaner yeah I'm, i remember when brad and i were last in new orleans we i've only been like three times um and i want to go back badly at like a good weather time because the last time we went we went for my birthday in june and it was oppressively hot yeah it was intense That's... uh but because of that we ended up wearing our sandals around a lot yeah and i learned that you don't really do that yeah like because like in certain areas especially like the french quarter fuck yeah no. and like and so we learned that that trip yeah, you, and yeah. it's good to know for the future one of my favorite New Orleans things is just the brass bands in general. Yeah, our band director like knew a bunch of people that would like or high, in high school. High yeah. school band director like knew people that would have like weddings and things. So we set these little second line bands. Yeah, and we go down to the wedding and then we play like you know little New Orleans yeah. tunes. Do you just feel like a fucking superstar? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's by far it was one of the coolest things in the world. Yeah, you know, and then we just go sit in the quarter and like just play yeah. places until we got told to stop. Yeah. And it was fucking awesome. That's so cool. Like the It was so cool. One of the times I went was for Jazz Fest, because my parents would this is my like life New Orleans thing. My parents went to Jazz Fest every year from like before I was born mm -hmm. until like, I don't know, some handful of years back. Um, but I went for Jazz Fest and it was really fun outside of like the odd feeling of all the drunk old white people yeah and jazz fest is weird it was it was kind of a weird vibe but what i liked most about it was then going around new orleans after and some of the bands would play like around where you could just walk into a bar yeah. and it's like there's that group or like or just walking down the street and there's just dudes playing you're just stuff yeah i will say that that's one thing i do kind of like miss is like the amount of live music that was going yeah. on and like good like great i've been to like nashville as a big live music place but like i don't want to i'm not trying to walk into a bar and just a like different yeah like random rock or whatever it was also cool it's like because like in college i could like just kind of like see so much stuff yeah when i went home which was awesome yeah. like we go out to somewhere and i would just see like see random people playing like you know like jazz tunes and that yeah. was like awesome to see and like you just don't see that very much it's a different like energy and vibe and it's it like is. it's so i i appreciate how like multicultural it is and immersed in like different culture like yeah. there's like uh the creole aspect like indigenous first nation like there's so many things and like the the outfit like the big chief dude with the cruise yeah like the pageantry the pageantry of it and, all yeah and like celebration but also like how meaningful it is i don't know I think, I think it's cool yeah new orleans culture is just so like interesting and unique and i don't think there's anywhere else in america oh, I that's agree. like like that well speaking of that we have a king cake that togo has sent us we're gonna eat it here some of it so i'm gonna go get it are we cutting should i entertain him Should I get paper towels? No. We're just gonna raw dog this? We're gonna raw dog this. Now listen, here's the thing about it. We're gonna put a stock photo of a king cake up. And the reason why is because this came all the way from New Orleans and I'm in Los Angeles, California. So you can only imagine what happened in this little box. It got hot, it got cold. It bounced all over. All right, so we're gonna put up a stock photo and it looked like that at one point. So this is from a bakery in Terrytown called Hi Do. Terrytown, a place you don't really need to know about. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Whatever. Moving on. Now, in this, <laughs> I was um, gonna say this is what like. There's a baby yeah. in here. The baby's trapped. 
this baby won't get out. This is actually why it's part of what makes Mardi Gras so special and unique is that there's ritual sacrifices leading up to it, and then a baby is cooked in. In like Mardi Gras time, and while I was in like high school and, and elementary school, we'd always get king cake. Yeah, as like the dessert. Oh, like at school lunch. Yeah, that's. And sick. then if you got the baby, you got a um, a prize. What was the prize? I never got it. Not a lot of luck. One spear in her whole life. Would you ever want to go back for Mardi Gras? Yeah, for sure. We should do that. The knife of the king cake stays in the king cake box. Yeah, so you can yeah ha- do an a la carte situation. Eat it over the thing. The real about king cake is it's got to be not messy. So fucking good. Like, is there a significance to king cake? Like, I don't know. Like, the shape? You got nothing. I don't know. You're supposed to know everything about New Orleans. I don't know shit about king cake. I know I eat it. Why don't we prep for this? (laughs) This is it, baby. I don't know anything about it. (laughs) Okay. So, in in researching history, uh, because, like, good YouTubers, we didn't prep any information for this. It's a two-person show. I'm eating the king cake. Yeah. You, you keep doing it. So it comes from the biblical story of the three kings who bring gifts to baby Jesus. And not reading further, I'm wondering if the baby inside represents Jesus, which is like, one would say yes. And how hilarious is that? That like, it would be like, you know what we could do to really tie this all together? <laughs> Put a baby in it. Put a little baby in there. Yeah. <laughs> you know what this cake could use? A baby. A little baby. A little little plastic toy. And then I wonder, and this is, I feel stupid even about to say it. How do they get it in there? Do they bake it with the baby in there? They can't. It's plastic. That's I don't th- I don't think they do. So how the fuck? Because it's not like there's a hole in the bottom. I think they pop it in through a hole and then fill the hole. Yeah. Anyway, also, I wanted to add, because you talked about how at school, if you got the baby, then you got like a, a prize or whatever. Whoever gets the baby has to bring the next cake. You gotta buy it. Yeah, next year or throw a party, uh, which is like sucks. It's cool because it's like it, it makes it like con- the tradition continue, but also it's like, man, I fucking found the baby now. I have yeah. to spend all like <laughs> I don't I don't want to be on the hook for this. Thanks, Jesus. The thing I like about king cake is you can make little small bites. My mom used to give me this for breakfast. That's good. <laughs> tradition dictates. Finding the baby symbolizes luck and prosperity, and the finder becomes the king or queen of the evening. Now, for us non-binary pals, what? you just better not find the baby. <laughs> not very we have inclusive. An, we, have, we haven't updated the literature yet. You better yeah, just... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you find it, you just leave that piece. King cake symbolizes a unity of faiths overall. This is very religious. Oh, the whole Mardi Gras thing is incredibly religious. That's what I'm learning. Because, like, it's, I mean, like, I was talking about Fast Knot Day. It's like you have you this, like, decadent celebration and everything that is... And then God. Yeah, it's directly abutted yeah. to Lent. So, like... Fat Tuesday, Ash Wednesday. Yeah. Did you do Ash Wednesday? Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, Good Friday, I suppose, is in there somewhere. I don't know where that one is. Palm Sunday. You're just saying them now. That's after Easter. I kind of do miss... The whole, like, Lent thing where I remember some of like, my biggest memories are, are going to Taco Bell on Friday nights with my dad because we get bean burritos. Yeah, because it's Lenten. Yeah, because it's, it's in not meat. meat. Yeah. And then also doing stuff with fish. And I used to like it because I would, like, it makes you get, <laughs> makes you, like, order something else. Yeah. That's the only part of it that I like. Would you ever give something up for Lent? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I would. But I would pick, like, dumb shit. That was easy. Yeah, like, stop swearing or something. <laughs> I would do the same thing when I go to confession. I'd be like, I'd say the same... Whatever. Same couple, same couple sins, baby. Not, like, anything actually deep and real. Yeah, of course. I, my, the church I went to was, like, pretty old school, so my confession would be, it had, it was, like, worded in the, I've committed sins against my father, I, like, disrespected him, like, that kind of way. It had to be, yeah. like, that shit yeah um i don't remember what i gave up for lent when i observed it as a kid what would now being a non-religious adult what would i give up for lent yeah for lent? i've been wanting to kind of give up coffee the idea of lent is to like 
It's not meant to like change your habits, like to get rid of a bad habit, is to like sacrifice something that is like important to you, kind of. And that's where it gets mm. fucked up. Well, I think coffee is important to me. Oh no, for sure. I feel you. I feel yeah. you. That does make sense. Yeah. But like that's hard to because like what are you gonna give up if it's like I Maybe. give I give up working. <laughs> yeah. Damn. <laughs> well everybody, we're gonna go on another break. Yeah. <laughs> See you in about 40 days. 40 days, baby. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you have any parting thoughts about this kink cake? Have you ever seen the movie 40 Days and 40 Nights? <laughs> That's all something else. That's something else. Have but you though? Wait, answer no, my question. No. What? No. Why, why am I saying what? It's, no. I'm, real quick, we're doing a sidebar here. Uh, it's Josh Hartnett and Shannon Sossman. Uh, and Josh Hartnett for Lent decides to give up sex. And it's so hard because he's such a Casanova. <laughs> I guess the, the arbitrary rules that he makes up are that he can't touch like a girl sexually. So like he like uses a flower. I have the most vivid memory of my sisters and I watching this when we were like younger and my mom walking in while that scene was on and Shannon Sossman uh, with like a flower petal going down her body. And my mom goes like, yeah, it's not like that. <laughs> I'll never forget it. Like, God, that is so uh, funny. <laughs> anyway, what well, was your, what were you gonna say? You thought you gasped and thought of something. I did. Someone gave me a, a I was I wanna say the thing I like the most about this is how like personal it is. It's like I don't know, it's just like a little bakery sticker. It's like written here. It's yeah. nice. It's like Terry Times like makes me feel at home. It's cool. Yeah. But then I thought someone gave me a king cake for my birthday when I was in LA. They found a bakery that made king cakes and got me a birthday a uh, king cake. Anyway, on that note, uh, if you're corn or your cream, make sure you get a king cake. Yeah. Unless you have dietary restrictions, and in that case, suck it up. No Is that fun. What you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Suck, definitely suck it up. I'm just waiting for you to unearth the baby. We'll update you on who gets the baby. More from that baby got. <laughs>